innocent. How you doing everyone? I'm back again with another dog card exclusive custom figure. This time it's of Motel Hell's Vincent Smith, aka Pigface. I wanted to give you all a quick look on how I put this guy together, but don't forget to hit that like button, but definitely subscribe. Wanna build this channel up and I need your support. Okay, let's get to it. I didn't take any footage of me putting the head sculpt together, but um, I used Millie Putty, something that I uh, got from the late Glenn Webb. I used to watch his channel all the time and get a lot of great customizing tips from him. And um, I usually like to put a black, uh, black coat over any figure or custom that I'm doing because I find when I do that and I'm ready to paint, it brings the color out. What I'm doing here right now is just giving it a little bit of a dry brush, trying to bring out some detail on the uh, pig's head. So I'm just doing a little bit more uh, finishing touches on the head. I'm done with all the uh, shading, so now I'm going to add a little bit of uh, the uh, little hair detail, as you can see that I did right here, and uh, added some blood, but also I used some uh, matte uh, finish on it, and some gloss as well around the mouth and nose in the eyes to give it a little bit of a wet look. Now the clothing was the most trickiest part for me because I am not a sore whatsoever. But um, I figured out a method on how to make uh, uh, clothing for uh, action figures. And so far it works. You guys let me know in the comment what you think. So now here's the finished product, Motel Hell's Vincent Pigface. Got all the clothing on him, the painting done, that little mohawk strip that uh, he has, and the chainsaw. I still have to do a custom chainsaw for him, but for now, he's born my uh, NECA's Leatherface Chainsaw. For this guy is really trying to go for that uh, Mego or that NECA cloth figure look. Now, if you've never seen the movie Motel Hell, I definitely recommend it. If you're into those that type of 80s wacky style horror movie, this one's for you. It has everything in it, a little bit of comedy and gore. It's just hilarious, but definitely check it out. Here's some angles of the figure so you can see the detail of the face sculpt and the clothing. And even with the soft goods, yeah, I was still able to maintain some pretty good articulation. 
and、uh, he has about 21 points. A while back, I did this、uh, custom figure、um, inspired by this horror movie called The Butcher. And also, Pigface also inspired uh, his uh, look as well. But、um, here he is standing right next to Pigface. One day, I'll actually do a full review on this guy. Hope you all enjoyed the video and the custom. And if there's any other character out there you would like to see made into an action figure, let me know in the comment and maybe I'll give it a shot. But don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned because I got some really cool things to share with you. Take care.